Hello everyone, it's Dr. Desiree Alexander, aka Educator Alexander, and here's your five minute tip for this week. So in this video, I wanna show you five quick things that you're probably not using in Microsoft Word that are awesome. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button to like this video and subscribe. Okay, so the first thing is dictate. So I'm right here on the home and there's voice dictate. So when I click this, now as I'm speaking, it's going to type what I'm saying, period. The man went to the store, period. He bought milk, comma, eggs, comma, and bread, exclamation point. Why did he buy this? Question mark. I have no clue, period. New paragraph. So you see that it kind of kept up with me even though it didn't look like it was. You don't have to stop and wait for it to catch up. You can just go ahead and speak. So awesome. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. You also have some um, settings here. So you can come here and look at especially spoken language. So you can say, you know, well, what language are you speaking? It's going to type in that language. There you go. So next is reuse files. So if you're ever like me and you have, you know, three Word documents and you're like, oh man, I need a paragraph from this and, this. and you just have to, you know, it's very difficult to open them all up or, and put them all together. Sometimes you just want like the whole document to join forces with another document. Well, reuse files is your answer for that. So if I click reuse files, it's going to show me some files, but I can also search for, you know, the actual one that I want. So I'm going to just click on something here sure what, whatever that is um and then the document will pull up which i really like and then when you kind of hover over you see how that plus sign comes up so if i just need like a cent i mean i'm sorry not a sentence i just need one part of it i can just come here and click it so yes i need this content so i'm just going to click the plus sign and now it's in here for me i need the column or whatever that was so if you needed a table you know like all this stuff that's sometimes hard to copy and paste you don't have to worry about it you can just come here and reuse files so then I can come to a different file and say yes I want to um I don't know why all this dissertation stuff is here but there you go so again you can search and reuse files next is find and replace so this is one that, you know, I think people know about, but sometimes we forget to use it. So if you're looking for something specific in your document, you can come here and click find and say, I need to find this word. So it's telling me that it's three times and it's highlighting it for me. So that's awesome if you're looking for something, especially in a longer document. Now replace finds it and replaces it with something. So for example, if I had a um an open house letter from 1999, I don't know why, why it's from so long ago, but 1999, and then you want to replace it with 2002, you can do that. So I'm going to say replace row with red. I mean, it doesn't have to both start with yellow. I don't know, whatever. Um, now I can just do like one at a time or I can say replace all, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to say replace all and it says, okay, well we've made three replacements. Now wherever it said row is now going to say yellow. Yay. So that is find and replace. Next is editor. So if you click on editor, what it's going to do is kind of edit the document for you. So if it has a check mark, it means like, okay, it's pretty good for those kind of things. But we have some spelling errors. We have some grammar errors. So I can click this and go, you know, instead of kind of, do you want to put sort of? Yes, I do. Thank you. Um, so there you go. You can kind of get some, some um, help with that. Now, is it going to be perfect? Of course not. But it does help. So then I can click on grammar and see, you know, what, what mistakes I've made with grammar. What do I need to change? That kind of thing. So instead of the capital letter on home, you want the lower le the lowercase. So use editor. See, 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 see what it's all about. And last but not least, 
references. So there's a lot of really awesome tools on references that we need to be showing our students. So there's insert citation and researcher and those that's all I'm going to focus on. So for researcher it's really awesome because it can actually help you find some articles and things like that too but it also helps you cite them automatically. So I'm going to go to a new there you go and I'm going to say I'm looking for um, something with the word speak in it so notice i have you know a relevant topic and you can get more topics right here but then i have articles and things like that about i'm sorry not about with the word speak in it so again this is kind of cool because not only can i cite it sometimes it helps you're like oh that looks really interesting maybe i could use this and i can put you know click open in reading window I can see what it's all about I can open it in on my internet browser see if this is something that I want to use I guess this page doesn't exist anymore but see if that's something that I want to use um, I've actually found articles and things like that using this that I wasn't using before so then when you want to cite it I can come here and just click the plus sign so it is going to cite it for me awesome sauce and we are done now insert citation will kind of do the same thing you can come here and get like apa chicago all that good stuff mla and you can also click insert citation you can add a new source you can fill out all of the stuff and then it will add that citation for you you can also start a bibliography page in the whatever way you need to so i'm going to stop right there but there's a lot of different stuff that you can use on here and all i want to say is Good luck.